All right. So welcome to the next lesson in your Facebook advertising course. Now in this video, I want to talk to you about something really important, which is if you have a database, what exactly can you do with it? Right. This is one of the best features of Facebook advertising. So let's assume that if you have a database, this is what you should be doing. So click on the three lines here and click on audiences. I was actually already in the audiences uh, tab. So you will be taken to the screen and then click on create audience and select the first option, which is custom audience. Once you select that, you want to select the customer file. Now here you can either import the contacts from MailChimp, which is an email marketing software, or let's assume that you have purchased the database from a database company or you purchased, uh, you actually got the database from an exhibition. So no, no matter where you got the exhibition from, uh, database from, sorry, I was saying exhibition. So no matter where you get, got the database from, you need to put the name, email ID, phone number, pin code, or whatever details you have in a CSV file. And then click on choose a file. Next thing you wanna do is, once you have all the details in a CSV file, click on upload file. So let me just click on upload and I am uploading that file. The next thing I want to do is click on next option. Once I do that, Facebook will ask me what fields do you want to map, right? How do they map the data? So I would most likely always want to select the email ID and the phone number and they'll automatically find it for you. So all you have to do is click on upload and create. Right. And just ignore this option because they are saying they are unable to map the other four, four fields, which is okay. As long as they are mapping out email ID and phone number, you are good to go. So click on upload anyway. And now Facebook will map all the data and find out these people for you, right? They'll create a list of all these people for you. So it takes a little bit of a time for them to map the data, but not a lot of time. So, if you see, they are almost, almost, almost done. Three rows uploaded, 100%. There was a error report. Some entries couldn't be used. Now, there could be a possibility, right? So once you're buying a database or, you know, getting the details from an exhibition, it could be possible that your customers may have given in the wrong information because they didn't want to be called. Or it could be possible that the database that you just purchased isn't 100% accurate. So you'll never see a 100% map ratio. And even if you get a 70% map or a match ratio, it's freaking, freaking awesome. So all I would do is click on done. Now, if you see here, the first list that was created, I just uploaded this file. And now Facebook is going and finding out all these people. So what you will see is at this point, it's still updating the audience. It's, it takes a little bit of a time. I think about 30 minutes for Facebook to up, up, uh, update the data. Now, once the data is updated, you'll normally see it'll find all the people and this will turn into a numbers, right? So just like these numbers for how many other people they find based on the phone number or the email ID that they were able to map, you will get the size of the audience. Now, the best part about this is once you, once this data is ready, once this custom audience list is ready, all you can do is now directly advertise to these people. Isn't that amazing? So for all the people who gave you the contact details in the exhibition, now you can directly advertise to them on Facebook saying that, you know, hey, thanks for showing up at the exhibition. Here's more details about our products or service or franchise or whatever you uh, sell or whatever your business is about. So isn't that freaking awesome? It's so uh, awesome because this also builds your brand uh, projection. Now they see you at the exhibition and now immediately they see you on Facebook. And so think of, think of the possibility. It just shows your brand as a really huge and popular brand. It's like a 360 de degree effect in your client's mind when you look at your brand now all over the place, which is freaking awesome, right? So that's what happens. Uh, so that's the best part about Facebook advertising is if you have your potential customer data, bring it on, put, in a, put that in a CSV format and just upload it. And Facebook will automatically find all these people uh, and give you the list, right? So as long as they have logged in uh, or signed up for a Facebook account with the same email ID or phone number, there'll never be a 100% uh, match ratio, but 
I am happy even if I get 70% match ratio, right? Isn't that awesome? So that's what you would potentially do with a customer database or a potential database, potential customer database, or if you already have a list of people who can be your customers. So that's about it for this module, uh, this video. I'll talk to you in the next one. And if you have any questions about this, please feel free to bring them in the coaching call. Talk to you guys in the next video.